okay? So, I just got finished eating my plate of food and I'm like, let me make me the rest of it because it was just that good. A good, like, something to eat on. And had I had that this morning, I probably wouldn't have waited so long to eat, but I didn't have anything prepared. So, that's why, you know, that's why I didn't eat all day. But that was worth the wait, the wait. Now, I said that I wish only that I had added eggs. So I have quite a bit of rice, and I have the rest of this chicken. I just chopped it up. I'm gonna scramble the eggs and put them here, and heat up the rice, and my onions and everything. Oh, I have to get my onion. And I have to buy more onions, so this is my last big onion. <laughs> yeah. That's a little robust. Let me turn that down a bit. And I actually like to eat over easy eggs. So, me not scrambling them before they get into the pot is not something I wanted to do because I like to taste the white of the egg. So I'm just gonna kind of scramble, fry it in the pot. And I'm just chop some of this onion up. Get this in there. I can use a lot more onion because this is gonna be a bigger portion. Yeah, those eggs are frying. I probably should put a little something on them. But again, I'm not trying to add too much salt. So, I'm going to put a little salt. A lot more pepper. some big pieces because to me it's like a piece of vegetable and I like to have it so I have little small pieces just throughout but those bigger pieces are what I look for when I'm trying to get a nice flavorful and moist bite the onions give you a moist bite with your food that's why I think I love 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 fajitas Oh my God, the fajita onions and peppers. Ah, oh, that's some good eating. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little more oil. And that's, that's good for me, but that means I'm going to be able to taste it. Mm. Have you ever just made eggs and onions? That's a meal in itself. Like, it's like a kind of a egg food young type of thing. I used to make egg food young, put bean sprouts in them when I was young, when my kids were younger. I haven't made that dish in a long time. It was our Chinese food way of having Chinese food because it was a little bit, a little expensive. 
you know, for me as a single mom growing up, raising my three boys myself. So I'm, I'm going to try and have an eat out experience as much as I possibly could. And so that was my way of making Chinese food. We used to have what are called pita pizzas. We would make or put on pita bread and everybody could put their own um, ingredients on their pizza, whatever cheese and meat they want on it. And that was always a time when I used to be able to hold conversations with my sons. Like I would make like pita pizza or tacos just to, because it's an activity type of meal. Just to get them to be talking while we're eating. I learned stuff during that time. You know, because they, they were not like forthright coming out telling me stuff, you know. But that's what some things do. So I'm going to turn this up a tad. I wanted to do a little bit more. I'm going to put my rice. I'm going to break it up in this pot. Because I'm going to use all of the rest of this rice. That's going to be a big pot. Have to take out those skins, take out those peelings from the onions. Oh, I'm telling you, I am definitely going to do cook my um. And see, my rice was cooked real good. Look to the bottom of my pot. Hey, I make good rice. It's very good and clean. So I heat this up. Remember, I had to put some. I had to put some salt on my plate before. Let me put this in the sink. I did put the, I said I was going to uh, empty the dishwasher and put more, the, put the dishes that were in the sink in the dishwasher. So I got a chance to do that in between the recordings. Yeah. I'm going to pop some salt, some I'm gonna put the garlic powder in now. And I'm gonna put a, quite a bit. Put a little more butter. Cause I'm gonna be putting my chicken in in a minute. Yes. I probably can't use all of this. It's a big pot full of food. And I'm gonna put some more salt. And more pepper. This pepper is that real thin, like pepper. I like the cracked corn pepper, but sometimes it's not that convenient to crack corn. So, I think onions cooking smells so delicious. So, now I'm gonna go put my chicken in. I'm gonna mix that up so it's the heat of the and the chicken kind of warmed up a little bit because it was sitting out while I was eating my other plate of food. So I just want the chicken to go in the rice and let the rice help it to heat up. And then I add the eggs in, which are still rather warm. Yum. E. And then the butter is actually glistening, causing this dish to glisten, because it's not finished melting yet. And the purple onions just makes it so nice and yum. Now, I'm going to taste this.
Ja. 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 Yes. Oh, how you like to say yes? Mm. Oh my gosh. I put the right amount of salt this time. So. Ah. Uh. And well, you know what, y'all? I'm actually kind of the other food that's setting in my stomach. So I'm actually not hungry. But I'm going to have to take a little bit of this. Just because. Just because. Just because it has eggs in it. And I wanted to see what it tastes like with the eggs. So I'll eat a little. I'm a little full. Um, you know, at that point, I'm not hungry. So, yeah. And then I'm going to put chives a little on my plate. And I'm going to put some in here. Let this continue to do what it's going to do together. Kick its flavors together. Then I'm going to put it right back in that bowl where my chicken was. Mm -mm. It used to be really heated, God. Yeah, I'm going to let it sit here. I had a piece of butter in my mouth just now, but it was good. Mm. 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 That's so good. The egg is so nice. It just added a little extra taste. Different. Mm, 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 mm. Yum. Mm. 